Hello everyone. Uh, in today's video, we are going to explain uh, the classification of general anesthetics. So as you all know, anesthetics are basically they are drugs. So anesthetics are basically they they are drugs which produce a loss of response, loss of response. In fact, this loss of responsible is a kind of a reversible loss of response. So, a reversible, they are those drugs which produce a reversible loss of a response to a particular stimuli. So, such they are called as uh, anesthetics. Now, basically, anesthetics are of two categories. Anesthetics are of two categories. One is the general anesthetic, general anesthetic. The second one is the local anesthetic. These are the two main kinds of anesthetic. Now, the basic difference between this general and uh, local anesthetic is in the terms of consciousness. So, in the case of uh, uh, in the case of general anesthetic, the consciousness will be lost, whereas in the case of uh, local anesthetic, this consciousness will be maintained. So, this is the fundamental difference between a general anesthetic and a local anesthetic. In the case of general anesthetic, the consciousness will be lost, whereas in the case of local anesthetic, the consciousness will be maintained. Okay. Now, uh, in today's video, we are going to explain the classification of general anesthetic. So, Basically, they could be divided into two categories. So, the one is uh, the volatile general anesthetic. Volatile general anesthetic. The second category is called as the non volatile general anesthetic. Now, in the case of volatile, volatile general anesthetic, they are mainly given through the inhalational route. So, they are also called as volatile inhalational general anesthetic. Whereas in the case of non-volatile general anesthetic, they are mainly, mainly given through the parenteral route. So, they are also called as non-volatile parenteral general anesthetic. So, this is, this is the basic uh, broad classification of uh, general anesthetic that is volatile inhalational general anesthetic and non-volatile parenteral general anesthetic. Now, coming to the volatile general anesthetic, they exist in basically two forms. One is the gaseous form, the second one is the liquid form, they exist in liquid form also. Now which are drugs coming under the gaseous uh, category among the volatile inhalation anesthetic? The examples are cyclopropane, cyclopropane, another example is nitrous oxide. The third example, nitrous oxide is represented by the molecular formula N2O. Another example is xenon. Another example is entonox. So, among this, cyclopropane and uh, nitrous oxide are clinically not used. Xenon and entonox are used. Now, coming to the liquid volatile inhalation gymnastic, the examples include chloroform, Chloroform, the molecular formula is CHCl3. Another example is uh, ether, ether compound. Ether compound, the main example is diethyl ether. They have general anesthetic property. However, clinically, chloroform as well as uh, diethyl are not used. The third example in liquid category is halothene compounds. Halothene, they are clinically used, halothene. And another example is uh, fluorine drugs, fluorine. And the examples are N fluorine, isofluorine, desfluorine, methoxyfluorine, and uh, sevofluorine. So these uh, five drugs are coming under the fluorine category and the halothane and fluorine drugs are normally used, clinically used whereas chloroform and um, ether compounds are not at all used. So th this is all about the volatile inhalational general anesthetic. So that is a, this is the first category. Now we will move to the second category that is the 
non volatile parenteral general anesthetic so coming to non volatile parenteral general anesthetic so the drugs coming under this category so now mainly whenever you give general anesthesia the first thing which is given is through an intravenous route and it is given uh, through an intravenous route to induce the anesthesia so the first category in this non volatile are called as inducing agents inducing agents now the drugs coming under uh, this category they are basically barbiturate compounds like thio thiopentone sodium thiopentone sodium methohexital sodium thai amylal sodium so these three compounds belongs to the barbiturate category barbiturates they are barbiturates compounds now another example is a propofol which is an inducing agent prep sorry propofol another example is etomidate so these five drugs uh, are the main drugs coming under the inducing agents category now the second uh, one which is coming under the non volatile parenteral category are the slow acting drugs slow acting drugs now the examples are in the slow acting drugs the one is the dissociative anesthetic dissociative anesthetic and the example are is ketamine ketamine is a dissociative anesthetic in fact is a slow acting drug the second example coming under the slow acting category are the benzodiazepine drugs benzodiazepine drugs abbreviated as bdz and the examples are diazepa lorazepam and midazolam So these uh, uh, keep this ketamine and the benzodiazepine drugs are coming under the slow acting um, slow acting category coming under the non volatile parenteral general anesthetic now coming to the third one among the uh, non volatile they are opioid drugs they belongs to opioid category and the examples include fentanyl alfentanil sufentanil and ramifentanil so they these opioids uh, fentanyl alfentanil sufentanil they are actually they belongs to the non volatile parenteral general anesthetic category and the fourth example which is coming under the non volatile category they are comes under the neuroleptic agents they are classified as neuroleptic agents and the example is droperidone droperidone so this is all about the uh, non volatile parenteral general anesthetic inducing agent is there slow acting drugs are there and the opioids are there and neuroleptic agents are there so with that we have covered the classification of general anesthetic thank you